Man, the number one complaint I always hear, I always hear about unhappy people never has anything to do with their own relationship. Never. Out of all the counseling I always do, it's always a dissatisfaction in their own life. It has nothing to do with the relationship that they're trying to build. It's their own life. And I always hear, oh, man, uh, look at the healthy marriage that they have. Oh, uh, look at the birthday gifts that she just got. I mean, look how they hold hands in public. Look how they sit in the front row, and he just rubs her back, and on and on. And always look at the grass that's greener on the other side of the fence. Why is my grass dying? Why is my grass turning brown? And I always say, well, maybe if you didn't spend so much time looking over at the other side of the fence, maybe if you spent a little bit of time watering your own grass, you'd be amazed at how much greener your grass would be. So water your dang grass. In the beginning, I mean, they just seem perfect. And, and this sense of togetherness, it comes very easily, right? And even if there is a disagreement, man, you're so in love. You just, you work it out and you move right past it. You're like, baby, we're together. We're a team and we're just, let, let's conquer the world, right? But then you get married for a year, two years, and all that perfection just drifts away. You're like, I married the devil, not joy, but you did, okay? She's saying she married the devil. <laughs> and here's the thing, over a bit of time, that sense of togetherness and teamwork, it can fade as, as disagreements and conflict, they begin to rise. And if they go unchecked, it can feel as if you're drifting farther and farther and farther apart from one another. And that sense of togetherness and intimacy begins to leak and guess what whenever this happens everything else begins to shake and it can feel like your marriage is falling apart when we begin to understand how she keeps score men it will bring our relationships it will bring our our marriage to a whole nutta level it will bring it up here instead of down here but you got to know how they keep score, how they calculate the score. The first point is a big one. And if you've come to Journey Church this morning, you need to pay attention to the first one so that this morning you understand. The truth is she is resentful and she is bitter because we think we're doing so much and she knows we're not doing that much at all. We need to understand as men, as men no matter what we do, no matter how fast we do it, we only get one point. 